Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette. I want to thank you all for coming along and having a little play with me today. We're going to be doing a couple of quick little crafts. Nothing too um, uh, super involved. These are my lovely ladies in lace. Uh, as you know, I'm working on a pro project that involves these, and I haven't divulged that to you yet, but this is uh, some more of those ladies. And um, so I thought I did some, I did the prep work. I know they look like they're completed, but they're not. They're all just pinned into place. So I will go ahead and, and get going on this. I do have a couple little things I'd like to do on this video. I don't think this will be a terribly long video, but every time I say that, we go over. So I probably shouldn't say that. Um, I hope you are all well and excited to be here. Hopefully you're going to craft along with me. Very, very simple project. These ladies, uh, you can find them all over Etsy. Uh, I use some buff colored cardstock to mount them on and some laces. And they're all of them, I'm going to say they're all mostly vintage laces and ribbon. Um, and then lots of little doodads that I know for sure are vintage. So... Anyway, I'll show you what I have, and then we'll go from there. So this is lady number one. Now, I'm going to check because I'm not really sure. Let me get a... So I need to be right about there. Okay, I'm standing up. Hold on a minute. Because you know if I don't grab this chair and it's on wheels, I'm going to go flying onto my you-know-what. So here is lady number one and two and three four, five, oh, right, you're getting these, and six. Okay, so I have six lovely ladies. I am going to move my little papers off the desk so we can get to work here. And then it'll be easy for me to find my center, right? So what I did was <clears throat> I laid ribbon and lace on a card and I just glued it on with my glue stick then I put my lady on and I stitched around her and then so I did six of those like that and then what I did is I made six scrappy bits I don't know if you want to call these scrappy bits well they're scraps but they are definitely layers of vintage laces and words and I stitched them and made a nice long little strip there okay and that is going to get glued on not sewn on because I it would be too hard for my machine to go through all these layers because this is very thick right here. It, it actually kind of threw a little fit when I when I um, tried to stitch through it. So we have this. There's this one. Okay, and I did the same thing for her and stitched around. I glued all the lace down first using my Fabri-Tac. I actually didn't use a glue stick. I used Fabri-Tac on this. I forgot. And then stitched her, and again, I made another beautiful little scrappy bit that we're going to glue on to finish off. And I'm going to leave them, whatever length they are, I'm going to leave them that way because I don't know how they're gonna fit, whether I'm gonna trim them down or leave them like that. Um, <clears throat> here's another one. I decided I did not like this straight stitch. I just didn't like it because it's paper and it gets squirrely on the machine. So what I did is I did the zigzag and I'm in love with that. So it's the rest of them were done in zigzag. So again, it has its scrappy bit. Zigzag again around her. My machine was pretty good. It threw, it threw some fits. It, it didn't like it going through all the laces and everything and the glues and stuff. So anyway, what I thought I would do is get these glued on the rest of the way. I pre-did this because it was just going to be very tedious for you to watch me cut and paste and stitch um, but I wanted to share the final part with you so you could get an idea and then that's you could you could journal in that space on the back or do whatever you want I think one of the things I did want to do was I wanted to go back over the stitching and I kind of wanted to put a little bit of um, so it wasn't so white it would blend in with the card more that was one of the things I wanted to do um, just give it a little hit on the stitching so it would blend it in a bit more and the thread would look a little more antique since it's on a lot of antique stuff I I thought yeah see that works better it's not that bright white stitching so I'll try to do that on each one 
So I just had a quick little project or two to do with you today. Honestly, I have been crafting so much, but a lot of it I cannot show you. I have been making some gifts, special gifts, that for some some people that are watch my channel. So I can't um, I can't show you because they will. You might guess that they're for it's for them. Okay, why? Oh, why? You know what I'm gonna do? If it'll open, it seems like it has a, yeah, it had a big old air bubble in it. Yep. Why does it? Okay, let me see. I'm gonna turn it upside down for a minute. Let's get that air bubble out of there. There it goes. See that bubble? Look at that. Look at that big old air bubble. Lop. Because <laughs> it just didn't come out. You know, I never have trouble with this. I am not sure what the deal is today. I know there was a pin in my little thing right here, so I'm gonna make sure that it's not plugged up. Although these generally don't get plugged up, it does get thick. That is the one thing about this Fabri-Tac. It gets very, very thick. And you, to thin it out, you have to put acetate nail polish remover, basically. There we go. See, there was an air bubble, big one. So I'm actually gonna just put it on here. I thought I was putting on there and then I looked down and I went, no, I had to close the blinds a little bit. Uh, it's sort of late in the day and, um, it was too bright in here for you guys. You would, the way the sun is shining and you wouldn't be, it would just white out everything I'm doing. So I want to, hmm. Okay, so there's our first one, and I'm just going to leave the shabby edges because I think I like that best. Oh, here's another lovely lady, and we want to kind of just put a little distressing on the stitching. Yeah, it blends that way it kind of blends it into the card, and it's not so obvious that it's there. Now I did just um, ink up my pad with a refill, so it's pretty juicy. I have to be careful or I'll end up with black on every, I mean, I'll end up really dark. Well, as I said earlier, I hope you're all doing well and you're healthy and you haven't picked up any of the crazy viruses or the variant that's running around. We're all doing okay. My husband did fabulous with his shot. Neither one of us got sick this time, so I'm happy for both of us, at least. I started not feeling so great at the 10 day mark, but other than that, we are hanging in there and he has finished the wall project. I actually need to get those videos or photos up onto my Facebook page. Um, it, it, the wall is done and the stairs going up the terraced hill behind us are done. So I'll make sure I get enough fabric tack on here. So that's all done looking beautiful. They will not finish the other long side terraces that go up the hill um, until fall. It's getting too hot for them to work out there. And I swear both of them had heat stroke this time. We tried to work on the coolest days. We got lucky the fog came in like it usually does. Fingers crossed. At some point though, that won't happen. Cup September, we won't get the fog. We get what we call Indian summer where it's hotter than heck. Um, I don't know why they call it that. But that's what we say here in California, or we used to. I don't know. I don't know if it's that okay to say that. But um, I think because, and I don't know if that's why we call it that. So we'll just leave it at that. Anyway, we get a very, very hot spell, which is like a false summer from um, September through November. And it's hotter than the actual summer. It is crazy hot. I don't know what, we, we'll get into the hundreds. And we don't get our rain normally till the first week of November if we're going to get it. Um, we don't have a traditional fall here in California. We don't, uh, at least not where I live. Some of the mountain areas, like Tahoe and um, the Sierra Madres, they might get some, but we don't. We don't get. We don't. Our leaves start changing in winter. That's the weird part. So we'll get fall and winter together. The leaves will change when it starts to rain and get cold. So strange. I miss Four Seasons. I would love to have it. I seem to remember it more as a kid, but now that times are changing, the world's changing, the weather, we don't, we don't get it. So, oh, did I, did I, did I? 
No, I didn't. Okay, I meant to distress this just a little bit. I don't like the bright white, especially on this one. This is my favorite piece right here. I love these laces. And I want to tell you that my beautiful sissy, Gail, um, had gifted me some beautiful um, laces um, several years ago um, when we first did a swap and um, when we first met a very long time ago and we found out we had so much in common and everything we kind of swapped some stuff and she um she gave me these gorgeous laces and so i am using those in this project these all all these right here all came from miss gail and all these beautiful bits and pieces came from her so thank you miss gail i love them i told you i would use them she wasn't sure how i felt about laces and i'm like oh, girl but then as she got to know me and see my work, she was like, oh yeah, you're you're the definitely the lace girl. I've chosen the right person to gift these to. So thank you, Miss Gail. And I have a box that says Gail's laces on it. And so that I always know when I'm working with them, they came from her and they have their own spot on their own shelf. Gosh, that's been a few years now believe we've known each other that long already time has just flown right by I love me miss Gail all right and for those of you who don't know there is a video out that explains our our relationship so you'll have to go find it okay um I already did this one so I think we're good Okay. Well, we're just flying right through these, so we're going to have plenty of time for a couple of other little things I want to do. And all it takes is just some... It's a really simple project. They went very quickly. But they, you know, they can be tedious while you're working on them. I cut all the, the cards. Um, I cut all the card rounded the corners, uh, inked them, then put my glue, you know, glued on my lace and then put my pictures on top. It was just, you know, I kind of did it assembly style, mass making like Miss Tina does. And, um, that went really well, uh, cause I did all the cards first, then I <clears throat> inked them all and cut all the corners and then did all the laces, glued them on. And I let all the lace dry, uh, for 24 hours before I, um, I didn't have to, it's just I had so many other things going. Now, one of the things I am going to do is I am going to add some pearl and some bling to these, maybe some charms, you know, I don't think I'm going to leave them just like this. I think I'm going to want to add some more, you know me, got to add a little more goodies. I think this one I already did too. Yep, I did. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I just adore this. You know what I think... I need to see, I got one of them too, too much glue on it, too high. I think I'm going to put it just above her dress there. And any little boo-boos in my stitching, you know, any any little, like where the lace didn't reach up, that made sure that all happened at the bottom. If the lace piece that I was working with was not long enough, um, I definitely, I know, baby, I hear you. Tommy's out there. Still doesn't have, oh, except separation anxiety. He does not like it when mama closes the door. He's going to sit there and howl unless daddy comes and gets him, which daddy's watching the golf tournament. So I have a feeling I'll end up having to open the door. All righty. So like I said, I'm going to leave them long on the ends for right now. I don't want to trim them down to see where they're going to actually fit in the project. But we can... This one, I know what I want to do with it. The question is, hold on a minute. I'm going to grab my, ugh, my big old cart. It's so hard to move on this carpet. <laughs> Practically give myself a hernia every single time I move it. I have some little pearl pieces for that. And I'm going to see if I, oh, that was ribbon hitting the floor that you heard. Ugh. Don't mind me. I have so much stuff. You know. You know. You all have it too, right? Those of you who craft a lot. And if you don't. But I, it's taken me several years to get laces and ribbons and things. Of course, I've had 
forever because I used to make, um, my girlfriend and I used to make pieces for brides. We used to make um, garter be garters that go into your wedding gown and uh, bridesmaids pillows, you know, for the ring bearer. Sorry, I'm looking for some a bag of these pearls that I have. And of course, I can't find them the one time I want them. Isn't that always how it is, right? Um, and we used to make, what else did we used to make? Um, bouquets. Oh, I used to do veils, bridal veils and bridal gowns. I didn't make too many wedding gowns. Um, but lots of prom dresses for my daughter. So, you know, I have lots and lots of stuff. And... I'm sorry I'm, I'm rummaging and of course because I want it we've got to get back to this tea that's gonna be next I keep saying that and I keep finding other projects I want to do all right well I'm really mad because I can't find what I'm looking for let me see if in the pile I just put through on my well maybe I can use one of these big these big um pearls I want a good size something in the middle there so I if that's too big oh it's pushing it I like these sort of yellowy antique looking pearls but I don't know if that's big enough let me see my pokey tool where they call it that, I do not know. Oh, that had something on the end. Anyway, I was saying that my girlfriend and I used to do all this bridal stuff and sell it, and we actually both did really, whoops, I don't want those scissors, that'll ruin them. Did really well, but I have a lot of stuff left over from that. Not a lot, but stuff. Pink and blue and white lace, because that was the 80s, I think, when we used to do that. We're both young moms, you know, making extra cash. Let me see. I'll probably have to add some glue to that. But oh yeah, no, I like that. I think that's big enough. That that'll work. Okay. And it's a it's a creamier, it's not white, so it's got a little more. Um, I don't know if you could tell. It's got a little more um where's my center there? A little more yellow to the pearl than that. It's more white. So all right, so I wanted to add that. Do I want to add anything else? Hmm. I noticed she has a lot of pearl and bling on her dress. I was trying to emulate what they were wearing. Um, so I was like, do I want my usual string of pearls? Do I have my usual strand? You know, no, of course not. Ah, oh my gosh, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Where is my, you know, my sticky pearls, the ones I use all the time. Aha. I am just making a royal mess on my desk, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well, it wouldn't be one of my crafting sessions unless I make a mess. I'm almost out of these. I do have some in my box. I'll have to get out before I do another video, probably. Because this one's going to take up a lot of pearls, I think. You know, I have to hold these way up to my face to do, so you may or may not be seeing this. I want to put this right here under the leaf. Yeah, they are good and stuck on there. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, so she's good. Now this one... I do have my um, oh, let's see I don't know what color I need so let me just play for a minute here yuck not that one okay do I have some of these cut I always look to see excuse my head I don't want to have my head in here I kind of did my hair today but boy it need I need to go to the salon so bad I stalled it off. My birthday's at the end of this month. I am a birthday baby. And so, August baby. So, my birthday's at the end of the month. And I stalled off my hair appointment closer to that time. So, I wouldn't look like a wreck for my birthday. Because I always do. <laughs> I always get my 
hair done and then uh, when my birthday comes it's all a mess again so it's like no the week before i'm going to get my hair done now this picks up all the colors over here so i do like that i will put a little pearl in the middle i think so first of all let me um let's see what i like better you know each one of these is individually done so they all look different so i'm gonna actually grab two I need to order some more of these. I go through this stuff so fast. Seriously, I do. I know you can't probably can't see the difference, but I can. I actually think this is a little bit bigger too, which will give me some room for a pearl. And all of this goes on with the fabric tack. So if you're putting fabric on fabric, this is great, and I'm gonna keep it more to the inside, so if I do cut evenly, I won't cut it off. All right, oh, and thank you all for answering personal questions about what you like as far as your, um, what kind of videos you like to watch and what you like to make, and then also what, you, you know, what appeals to you. That was fun. Uh, I love, I've always been a people person. I love people, I love talking to people. That's been the hardest part for me with both my illness and um, this COVID is that I haven't been able to do that. And so um, whenever I go out, I'm always talking to people, mask or no mask, you know. And um, so I love getting to know people. It's one of my favorite things. When my daughter and I go out, we have such a great time with people, you know. And um, we make friends with everybody that we meet. Um, and our goal is to give someone a smile when we leave the store. So get them to smile, make them laugh, feel good. Because the next person inevitably is nasty or the one before. Especially if we know the person before us was nasty. We do everything we can to cheer up that poor little checker or a fellow shopper that's maybe struggling through the day. So it is one of our things that we always try to do when we go out. And um, so I loved it that you all answered my questions about your favorite videos and what you like to watch and what you like to make. And even if it's not journaling, you know, I mean, we all have things that we like to do that are different. So, oh, that's lovely. Now I know I went and moved a bunch of stuff and I'm sort of kicking myself because things aren't exactly where I thought they were. I'm gonna try these on here. I'm trying to use different things so my stuff doesn't always look the same. I have these. I love this. I want to put it right there. This has one of those major sticky thingies on the back, so I think it will stay. No, maybe not. We'll just add a little fabric tack back there just to make sure it doesn't get up. Oh, and of course my fabric tack's having a hissy fit. I just filled it up, but I'm not kidding. I really went through it this time. Okay, I like that. And I don't mind if they're a little bumpy because generally when any of the journals I make usually have room for, for some... I don't want any other pearls or anything on here. I don't know. Hmm. Some of these are, may get some charms too, so we'll we'll have to see about that. If we're gonna if we're gonna add any charms. All right, now this one. Hmm, I need something right here. What do I want? I don't think I I don't have any. I'm looking at my flowers up there. I don't remember making anything white or creamy. I think everything's in bright colors, of course. Um. This one, I know I have some beautiful pieces that I got from Shell and Clint. Um, Shell, her, his, uh, Clint's mom, excuse me while I, hopefully I'm not in video, uh, handmade these. Um, they're gonna be too big, I think. I'm grabbing them out of my little drawer here. Pardon me. No, everything I'm looking at is kind of big. Let me see. This will do. 
This is too big. Oh, it's too big. Darn it. I think everything I have is too big. I was looking for something tiny to put next to that. It was sort of lacy and... Um, there's a little circle, but I think that's too big too. And these I do not want to cut. And I could put a flower right there. Hmm. I don't know. Put a pearl in the middle. Huh. Well, maybe with a big pearl in the middle. Um... Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Glue snot. Snot bubble. I guess I better not leave it on its side. It's not happy with me. <sighs> Let's see if one of these is too big. I think I got all these pearls at Michael's, I want to say. Well, it's sort of lost in there, isn't it? It's like it needs another something in the middle of that. I think I know what. I think I know what. Um, this particular journal is going to go in is very, very feminine and lacy and gorgeous and all the good stuff, so. I don't know if that's just too much though. Is there ever such a thing as too much? I think there could be. Oh, here's a smaller flower. That flower's kind of big. This one's a little small. It's not any smaller, huh? I wanted one that was sparkly but they all seem to be pretty big. Okay. I think the pearl's bigger than the flower. <laughs> well, that's not so bad. I don't mind that. Either that, or we just do the flower. Not that. Goodness, okay. That's pretty too. Hmm. I'm looking at my pile of flowers here to see if I have one. It's not quite so massive. This one's a bit, just a tiny bit smaller. I don't know, ladies, I am not finding what I want. You know, that happens sometimes. We we think we know what we want and then we can't find it and it's frustrating. So, that one's not any smaller, I don't think. I'm still stuck on this, I keep going back to this. It might be that I'll wait to do this piece because, and if I finish it, I can always show you in another video. I do have one of these. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I do have some of these, like, they're almost like a tissue. I'm not sure what they are, but they came with this set. This actually came from some bridal stuff. Oh, there. That's pretty. I like that. Maybe I'll put that on there. But... I am gonna tap the tips. Oh my gosh, flying pearls. What is this? Just barely. I mean, there's almost nothing on this. Uh, okay, and then I have to find the right side up for this because this is the tiniest. She does this all by hand. I don't know if this is tatting or string crochet. I'm not sure what she does, but I love it. Okay.
I'm gonna have to just kind of dot it around and then hopefully catch This one I won't be trimming down because both sides are sticking out. So it's going as is, I'm telling you right now. I'll have to make sure I only put it in a project or in the project or on a page or with a bundle where it will, let's kind of put those in between. All right, and then let's add, now that big old glue bubble would be cute right there. I would hold the pearl up. There we are. I'm cleaning off my, um, hopefully my head wasn't in the camera too bad. Sorry about that. No one wants to look at the top of your head. Okay, I have to pick this up for a minute because that pearl is in the wrong spot. You know what I need? I need a real wet one. That other one was dry. I need a wet one to get the glue off of this pearl without damaging the pearl. I don't think I can, darn it. That's the one thing about Fabri-Tac. It does trash your pearls. If it gets on there, yep, it takes the finish off your pearl. Pearl repair. There we go. Oh, I think I got it off. Alrighty, so that one's done. We didn't have to give up on it, I was happy. This one here, now this one, I had something in mind for this, what did I have in mind? Oh yes, I have some of these little pearls. So I kind of feel like it needs a little flower. So let's see. Mm, not a sparkly one. Don't want a sparkly one. Let's see, do I have any tan ones? I only have big ones. These are all my fancy ones. I think I have, let's see if I have any more that aren't so fancy. Um, what color do I want, guys? What color did you want? Ugh, don't mind me. I'm looking to see. No, these are all the wrong color. That doesn't well work. Let me see if any of these will work. Funny enough, I have some of these I made. I don't know. What do we think, guys? I think those are cool. The blue's a little much. Well, let's see if we can. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Thinking about using these. Hmm. I'm looking for a pink one. No, the blue and the yellow don't work. Um, that kind of blends in, just sort of disappears. Okay. Um, how about I threw one in here? Where did it go? You saw me cut it. Ooh, that's not the right color. Didn't you see me throw one in there? One of these? Oh my gosh. I don't, oh no. I think this pearl's gonna be too big anyway. Uh, 
I have a song running through my head from The Devil Wears Prada. I was watching that the other day. I wanted a fun movie, so I talked my husband into watching it with me for dinner while we were having our dinner. And I have a song running through my head. And if I could sing, I'd sing it. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think the pearl's a good color. I think it's a bit contemporary for that, you know. Okay, it's more of a sea foam green. Hmm. Sorry guys, <laughs> went to my happy place again and forgot to come back. Uh, it's a perpetual habit of mine. I want to see if maybe I could like group these a little, like three maybe. Let's see what happens if we do that. Seems like kind of a lot, huh? No. I think just... That and some pearls, maybe. Like I did on... Where's the other one? These two girls kind of seem similar. I guess it would be okay to have them kind of the same. I don't know if those these two probably won't go into that project because they're a little too colorful, but they definitely will go into some of my other um, shabby projects. Okay. Done fussing. I fussed enough. No perfection here, I'm telling you. I don't do perfect. I do the best I can, but <laughs> I don't do perfect. Okay, so back to my pearls. All right, so we've been talking about, let's see, the kitty. I guess Tommy must have gone to sleep by the door. That's usually where he is when I open the door. He's been sleeping there waiting for me to come out. Um, I talked about the wall and my husband doing great with his, we all did great with our shots. And um, what else? Hmm. Oh, Toby, you all have been so kind asking about Toby. Uh, we thought he was doing better, but now the medicine that he needs to keep him alive and take care of him, he keeps vomiting it up. So he goes back to the vet this Tuesday, and if there may be nothing else they can do for him, we may have to love him over the rainbow. So I can say I'm very sad. I'm hoping not to, but I don't think there's much else the vet can do for him. He's pretty much tried everything he can, and um, he just can't regulate him enough. And he's miserable. He is. He's lost so much weight, and his fur's fallen out. He's just, I think it's time to let him go. I feel like he's suffering now, and that's not okay. So that's kind of where we're at with Toby. But I'll let you know what happens. All righty. Oh, whoops. We have one more to go. Oh. Okay, one more, one more. I don't know what to do with her. I feel like she needs something pretty too. Let's see if, well, oh, well, you know what? I really want, I have a heart. I would like to see, I think these are hearts. I think these are hearts. They're kind of a heart shape. Well, they're sort of like a heart, see? Yeah, like that. Yep, I think I'll I think I'll do that. I feel like Lacy Lacy is good on this one. I don't like to cover up what's already here, but 
I feel like this is something that you would just add lace based on her dress. You know, she has such a gorgeous dress on. She's one of my favorites to use. I think I've reprinted my kit like a hundred times trying to get all these ladies. Ah! Okay, so you know we're gonna put a pearl there, but probably not the big ones. Maybe one of these that we just used. I don't know if this is too small. I feel like it needs to be bigger. No, I think that's about the same size as the others. I assume I'm going to need to put glue into that, but we'll see. Gosh, I'm making a huge mess on my desk as usual. Before I can go on to my next video, I will have to do some major cleaning. Okay, so I almost feel like I want to trim that. It just looks odd out there. So I think mm, I need my other. Lots of sirens today. Gosh, we've been having a lot of big accidents. Little, but no real fires. Knock on wood and let's hope it stays that way. All right, so let's put our... Eek! Or, um, well, that's going to be my catchphrase, eek. <laughs> I don't have any good ones like Gail, but <laughs> that's definitely something I say a lot. I purposely made these going crooked. I purposely did not make everything, you know, lined up perfectly. Um, I wanted things to have a little bit of different dimension, so... And there we have it. Here's all my beautiful ladies. Wow, guys, you can really hear the sirens. It always makes me nervous. I'm gonna trim this one up, it's bothering me. And of course, now the dogs have all got to bark. Howl. Can't control that, that's for sure, but I live right next to the firehouse, so <laughs> there's nothing we can do about that. And the hospital so that's all good if you have an emergency but it's not so great if you're trying to make a film <laughs> so not great if you're trying to video okay and here are my beautiful ladies oh aren't they lovely you guys oh i'm really happy with them they're going to be great and you know i may still when it's time to do the project uh, my thought is that i'll probably add some Oh, I don't have any. I only have the bright pink ones. I wanted some vintage charms. I do have some of those somewhere. So I may add some charms to them um, later when they're going to go into the whatever project they're going into. Um, I'm, I am cutting off some of this. It is bugging me. It's a little crazy. There we go. Well, there you have it. There's our beautiful, lovely ladies in lace. And we still have a few minutes, so I'm going to work on another project that I wanted to share with you. I'm very happy with these. I'm going to set those off to the side. And I'm not sure, let's see how, I wanna see where we're at. We're at about 44 minutes. I could stop right here. But I will share with you a little project I've been working on. I call these lavender, lilac, lav lavender, lilac. I don't know, ladies in lavender. But I made these beautiful little double pockets. You have a pocket here, and then you have a little journaling card that goes in your pocket. And then when you put it down, you can make it a pocket, a tuck, you know, whatever you want. So it can be a double pocket because if you glue it on three sides, you could put a little thumb notch there. <clears throat> and then this is my little journaling card. Isn't that cute? And then this one is there. So I've been working on those and I have two more. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice just went really hoarse. Hold on a sec. Let me get some water. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Um, then I have... Let me put these back in here. Two more pieces I'm working on. Now, where did they go? Oh, there's the plate. No, here they are. 
This one's a little fold over. This is going to be a pocket here and a pocket here. And then I need to decorate them up. Kind of a little pocket booklet. And then this one, I'm going to decorate this envelope that I got from the bank when I went the other day. So I thought, oh, wouldn't that be fun to decorate that up? So um, that's what I've been working on. Uh, some of these wonderful little goodies. And let me see what time. I was looking to see what my finish time needs to be. Oh, getting close. So getting close. All righty. What we could do is maybe we could work on this one a little. We may not get very far, but we'll do something. I hate to waste the time. You know, I'm here. Let's do a little something, something. All right. So let me, uh, I want to do this in sort of a, nope, not that. Nope, maybe that. So I want to kind of, I'm doing, using a couple of different colors on this. There we go. I'm going to look for the right sponges for the right one. And there we go again. The lid's off. Goodness gracious. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to ink it because this would be a piece that you would just, you know, it's an insert. So I'm, I'm purposely kind of, um, you would paper clip it on or stick it in a pocket. It came like this, Picked, got some cash at the bank. I was moving some money around and so they gave me this lovely little envelope and um, I threw it in the drawer and then I pulled it right back out again. I went, ooh, I could do something with that. <laughs> I think the ladies at the bank would think I was nuts. So if they saw me, gosh, did you guys do that? Look at it and go, oh, wait, I could do that with it. I'm sort of mixing my colors here because this has both the purple and the pinks in it, the lavender, lilac color plus there's pinks and these pieces that I'm working with here are all from Angela Kerr at Angela Kerr Designs and I am actually working with uh, some freebie pieces that she gave her group she gave us in the group to play with and she wanted to know what we'd make with them so this is what I'm making with them I'm doing her little kind of challenge all right I think I've got oh no I got the side all right so this is just to make sure if you do see the edges and I don't do a good cutting job, you've got something on the edges that isn't bright white because none of these papers are white. So um, I am going to, this is probably too wide and I'm probably going to have to do some cutting here. Aren't these pieces adorable? Oh. Angela, thank you. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous girl. You are so talented. All the things that you do and, and make. I'm a huge fan. I'm a member of her group. I watch her all of her YouTube videos and I buy all of her digital. So I'm a big, big fan. There's a couple out there that I do that with that I just follow them. I collect everything they do because they're young designers starting out and I want to support them. So I am going to, I'm going to figure out how wide I need this to be so I can cut it down just a bit. Okay. And I am using it. I know I inked that edge. I just realized that I thought it would fit. And then I realized after I inked it that no, it's not going to fit. So mm, I really hated to cut off the top of that, but I love this piece. Beautiful. I'm actually going to do it on this side because we want to cover up that bank logo. Okay, now all I need to do is just do a quick little I hadn't done the purple over here. I just did the pink. Many times I will use one to two colors, sometimes three, and sometimes if I feel like eh, it's too frilly or whatever, then I'll come along and I'll hit it even with my um, vintage photo. Just to kind of, you know, I want this to be really fun. Really fun. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm going to move that for a minute. I don't know if these other pieces need that. So I think I'll use my... <sighs> come on. Oh my goodness. Are we going to have one of those days? No, we are not. I have been crafting so much, my hands are such a mess, and I'm actually starting to have some problems with my wrist and my thumb and my forefinger from all the crafting I'm doing. 
but it's this knuckle and then, you know, this wrist is swelling bad. You can see the swelling in it. Um, I have multiple kinds of arthritis and I've been really lucky. It hasn't been bothering me. And all of a sudden, because of all the crafting I've been doing on a regular basis, every day, and everything's swelling up. Oh, yuck. Okay. Come on, get up there. You know this is the most unforgiving glue in the world. If you do not get it on here right, which it looks like I didn't, well, I sort of did. It's not gonna stay. I get this corner, I think I missed it. Yep, I did. I've got glue hands. All right, now you notice it doesn't go down to the bottom, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Oh, shoot, okay. What I'll do is I'll glue it on and then I'll trim it. Hmm. I guess I can cut some of that. Well, I'm gonna trim a little off each side. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. And, huh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. A little bit. I want this to be a pocket. Eek! Okay, come on now. Come on now, we can do it. We can do it. I know we can. I got gluey hands, and so I'm getting gluey everything. All right, now. Oh, those are great for some things, but I just. I don't like how many times I have to open and close the scissors. You know what I mean? It just, um, I like a longer blade when I'm doing stuff like this. That is not glued down all the way. Okay. I'm trying not to cut the envelope open. I don't want it open. This is one of those times we don't want the envelope open. Yeah, I didn't go up far enough there. There. Now we got a little pocket. Could go like that, but what I'm going to do... Oh, I see. I was just going to put that over both, so maybe not make it a pocket. Hmm, something to think about. Or I just move it up here, and I keep that as a pocket. Um, once it dries, I can put a little um, thumb notch on it, maybe. So you can tell it's an actual pocket. So, you get the idea of what to do with this. Let me see if I can do it. Or maybe I'm just best pulling it up and then re-gluing it down. I don't know if this will fit. <laughs> Come on, baby. We can do it. I know we can. Yep, it came up. That's all right. We'll re-glue it. It's cool. I might just put a baby thumb notch in it. It's fine. And then I'll re-glue it. No worries, right? All right. That's the part I just glued. So we'll just glue it again. It's no biggie, right? We know how far to go on this one now. Hmm. Boy, that was a mess and a half. And I'm trying to rush. I know I'm running out of time. I, I, I'm trying to keep these at an hour for some reason. YouTube, the processing has been taking us all day and uh, for one video. So if I make several, it takes us a couple days. And it's crazy. But I'm not sure. I guess they're looking for bad words and things. And I don't know what else. But it just takes forever to process a video these days. So there we go. All right, I'm probably gonna want some lace and some other layers under that, but you get the idea. Then I will probably cover this side too uh, so that it could be used both sides. And then, you know, put some kind of a little, um, you know, put something in the pocket like that, like this, put that in here. And you have yourself a really cute little thing. And then we'll have to see what I can find to put on that side. So anyway, there you go. Another project that I'm working on. I just wanted to share with you today. I will bring back my ladies for a minute so we can exit out with this. I just want to thank you all very, very much for coming along and watching my video today. You guys all mean the world to me. And I'm thrilled to have you join my channel if you're brand new. 
and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And that way I can hit the notification so I can find you and comment on your um, on, on what you might say. So anyway, ladies, thank you so much for coming along. I love you all. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.